Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I'm here to go through my unempties. So everything I melted this week but that I did not finish. Um, sorry, I'm wearing like overalls today and they keep falling, the strap keeps falling down. Uh, I'll start with the scoops. So uh, melted some El Three Waxy Wonders Beechwood Vetiver Golden Sands and Caribbean Escape. This is a really nice scent. So I love Beechwood Vetiver. I think I rave about it all the time as a fragrance oil. It's just sweet and fresh and outdoorsy and it blends well with like sweet things it blends well with woodsy it blends well with aquatic here it's blended with aquatic i think so caribbean escape i don't actually know the notes on caribbean escape golden sand is like tonka and i think like a citrus and uh, anyway it's really lovely so yeah to me this is like beechwood vetiver but a bit of warmth from that sweet warmth from the golden sand and more of an aquatic tone, I think, from the Caribbean Escape. I'm guessing there, but it smells aquatic here. Um, really lovely scent. Good, strong throw. Probably not one I need. I melt a lot of Beechwood Vetiver. This one is great because I just love Beechwood Vetiver blends. But this one, it's not like up there in terms of the, you know, ones that I feel like I must repurchase. Uh, L3 Waxy Wonders, Lord of Mistral, Heaps and Pipe Smoke. This is one of my all-time favorites. This is probably one of the best sweet and smoky scents I've ever tried. I actually did not expect much from this. It was just a random one I threw into a cart when I was um, doing a ready to ship order. I think I was really not sure about the peeps, but to me it's just oh, that depth of the smokiness. Um, you know, there's definitely a sweetness to it. I feel like it brings out the more kind of sandalwoody side of Lord of Misrule, but it's not overly, like, to me, this isn't actually an obvious, Lord, Lord of Misrule, to me, it blends really well with a lot of things, but it can some often be like that. Oh, that's a Lord of Misrule blend, plus it's got a little bit of X. Um, this one, I actually don't find it's, like, super obviously Lord of Misrule. It's definitely there, but to me, it's more about the sweet pipe smoke. So, um, but it's also not like a pipe smoke heavy blend. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but it is amazing. It throws super strongly and I definitely, definitely will get that one again. Um, I'd like to get it in a loaf, I think would, would work well for me. Savannah Blue, uh, caramel coffee. So coffee house with extra caramel drizzle. Um, so I realized after I purchased this one, before, but before it arrived that, uh, coffee house is not my favorite coffee scent. It smells like a really artificial powdery kind of like a coffee you know, like one of those milk and coffee powdered sort of substances. And on cold, it smells atrocious. It smells terrible, to be honest. It smells, yeah, really bad. But on warm, it was better. Um, I got more. It was more of a caramel coffee scent. I still didn't love it, but it was better. Um, I will say the throw was probably light to medium, which in some ways was probably good. I think if it was stronger, more of that icky coffee note would come out and then I wouldn't have liked it whereas this just kind of played in the background with the other coffee scents I was melting around the house so definitely not a repurchase but because it is light I will probably continue to use it like when I'm melting coffee throughout the house just to have a lighter coffee scent in the bedroom to sort of tone in because I like to have a theme in my house I like to have things like if I'm melting coffee scents the whole house has to be coffee um this will be a good one for that so I will finish it but yeah not something I would get again Teddy Bees, Anthony's Cavern, so birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and woods. This is absolutely amazing. Um, the first time I melted it, I liked it, but I don't think I got to sort of, I think I put it in the bedroom, so by the time I got into the bedrooms at night, it had died off a little bit. Um, this time I did it in the kitchen, and I was working in the kitchen, and it's, it is so complex, and this, this is the type of fresh scent that I find Teddy Bees really excels at. Like she's just, she's really, really good at bringing together or choosing fragrance oils too. I don't know how, but like that pop of citrus, you get the woodsy tones. I get the pine. I get kind of like a, a herbal kind of tone from it. It is just absolutely lovely. Um, I got good strong throw from it. And yet, one hundred percent, I would repurchase this in a in a big loaf. Like this was amazing. I had a feeling from the scent notes I was going to like it. Um, yeah, I just needed to be with it at the start of its melting rather than the end to really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, 
fantastic that one. Uh, where to next? Empire Alchemy The Shape. So toasted marshmallow, rosewood, vetiver, dark amber and carbon steel. So definitely a type of scent that's up my alley. It was really good. Uh, throw was probably only medium. On cold, it's funny. I'm actually pretty much just getting marshmallow and a little bit of amber. So, But it definitely I got kind of a, a woodsy vetiver. Yeah, all I'm smelling is toasted marshmallow right now. It's really funny. But no, I definitely got I definitely got rosewood. I definitely got vetiver amber. I don't know about so much carbon steel, but yeah, it was really lovely. But yeah, medium throw. I will try it again before I decide because I did enjoy the scent, but I'm just not sure if performance wise if it was good enough um, to get again. Uh, Sassy Girl Aroma Beach Nights type. So toasted marshmallow, salty sea breeze, and s'mores. So I feel like I talk about her beach nights a lot. I bought a lot of it before I stopped buying the brand. Um, and I bought a lot of it and then I realised because that even though I love beach nights and everyone raves about her beach nights, I don't love her beach nights. It's fine. It's a nice scent. It's sweet. It's salty sea breezy. It's lovely. It's just, yeah, it doesn't smell enough like s'mores to me. I like my beach night scent to have a more kind of overt s'mores note. Throws well. Not a repurchase though. Sassy Girl Aroma, Bad Boy Blue, so blue sugar, zucchini, and blackberry. This I really enjoy. This is really good. It's quite caramelly. I don't know where that comes from. Um, I think this is different because I also have from K, I have a blue sugar, zucchini, blackberry, and I feel like the difference is kind of a sort of caramelized note. I think it's, it's definitely a different zucchini. Um... But yeah, this is a, you don't get, it's, it's a nice blackberry, but it's not too blackberry. You get a fair bit of blue sugar. It's, it's just really good. Um, strong throw, not purchasing from Sassy Girl Aroma, so wouldn't repurchase. But like, as I mentioned, I have the mix from K. Like it seems, it's a very straightforward mix. Um, and it's, it is a really good blue sugar bakery scent. Uh, Rose Girls Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. So this is like eggnogs, donut holes, marshmallow smoothie. And I want to say a sugar cookie. I don't know. Um, interesting. I got myself all confused because it's Cookie Land, but it's not. I don't think it's the same Cookie Land as her other Cookie Land, which has like pretzels because I don't like pretzels. Um, but there's definitely no pretzels in here, I don't think. I don't know. I got myself a bit confused with that, with the pre-orders and stuff over the last couple of weeks or the orders anyway um i really enjoy this scent it is a very popular one with good reason it is a real to me it's just a really nice creamy bakery the eggnog i don't normally like eggnog it's interesting in this compared to the first bag because i had a bag in a sampler i do think the eggnog is a bit stronger than the last bag i got but at least it's not, see, for me, eggnog, what I can't do is that really kind of eggy smell with like a strong kind of cinnamon or nutmeg spice. Um, and thankfully this doesn't have that. So it's just kind of a spike of something a little bit different in with the, you know, the donuts and the cookies and the marshmallow and stuff. So yeah, it's just a, to me, it's just a really nice creamy smooth bakery. Um, it throws well. I will, look, it'll probably take me a while to get through this bag. Um, so I'd say by the time I'm done, it'll be close to Christmas time. Um, and I will probably get another bag in, you know, next Christmas, but it's, it's not one I'm going to like, I don't need to hoard you know, large quantities of, but I will get it again. Uh, Elf Who Waxy Wonders Blue Sugar Zucchini Bread Warm Vanilla Sugar. It's funny, I nearly finished this loaf. Um, it feels like the loaves and the scoops that I finish the quickest are the ones that I'm not that keen on. Like, they're, they're nice enough that I don't need feel like I need to get rid of them. Like I can keep melting them, but I just keep melting them down because I just want them gone because I don't feel like I need to hold on to it. Um, this one, it's just the warm vanilla sugar I don't like in there. So the blue sugar and the zucchini bread smell great together. And it's kind of sometimes I go in there and I get more of the zucchini bread and I really love her zucchini bread and I go, oh, that smells not bad. And then it just gets this kind of slightly soapy tone and I don't like it. Um... Good strong throw. It's it's thrown quite strongly now. Um, but yeah, I I wouldn't repurchase that that blend. Um, 
and yeah, I think I will probably finish that. Probably pull it into a box again in the next couple of weeks and just get it finished off. Uh, but zucchini breads I do like. So El Piraxi Wonder Zucchini Bread Adipose. Adipose being a combo of, I think, three different marshmallow scents, like toasted marshmallow, jet puff mallow, and another mash marshmallow. This is an amazing bakery scent. I got it as a sample um, and absolutely fell in love with it. It really just lets her zucchini bread shine. And I have I have realized that her zucchini bread does have a very sort of subtle baked spice. Like it's not overtly spicy, but where some zucchini breads can be very creamy, this one, because there's nothing else in this blend that would add that spice. It's just, it is, it's not overwhelming in any way, shape or form, but it's just, yeah, but it's definitely there. Um, so yeah, this is just like a fan, her fantastic zucchini bread with like a little bit of marshmallow sweetness. So, so good. Good strong throw. 100% would get this again. I got this in a bitty betty low, but I may request it in a um, basic betty loaf, in a bigger loaf, because it just is a really good solid zucchini bread staple. Uh, pumpkin parcel be mine. So this is chai tea and honey cakes. This was good. It's quite unique. It's very strong on the honey, which I I have a love, not a love hate, but I, I like honey scents, but sometimes there's just something about them that's a bit odd to me. It's very kind of clean smelling in a way. But the chai in this is lovely as well, and it's not that really, some chais make me gag. They're just, chai is a, yeah, there's, there's some chai oils that are fantastic and there's others that are just bleh. But I've had chai scents from her before and they've been pretty good, so I was pretty sure hers would be nice. Um, great strong throw. I reckon I would get this one again. It's quite unique. Um, yeah, it, it's just... I don't reach for honey type scents that often, but this one, it's it's nice. It was a good one for the bedroom, actually. Um... Dem buns dough from Super Tarts, so uh, cinnamon rolls, cream cheese frosting, pie crust. I'm not a huge fan of this one. It has kind of a sour note, I think, from the cream cheese frosting. Yeah, and the cinnamon too, although it's probably smelling more sour right now than it did when I melted it, but still, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's just got a bit of a sour tone to it, to it that I don't love. Um, but I definitely do. It's mostly cinnamon rolls and a, it's quite strong. I do find the cream cheese frosting scent is quite strong. Um, good strong throw, not something I would repurchase. Southbound Magic Mist. So this is peach, apricot, blackberries with notes of mandarin, cinnamon and a rose and a touch of musk. On cold, I thought I was going to love it. It's this really rich, kind of intoxicating... A little bit perfumey, I think, from the musk and the rose, but like a really rich mix of fruits. Um, on warm, it kind of, it got a bit sickly and a bit overwhelming and kind of, not plasticky, but just didn't smell like real fruit. I feel like the rose and the cinnamon and the musk kind of just turned it into something a bit unpleasant. I'm getting a lot of rose off it at the moment, actually, which I didn't get previously on cold, but maybe now I've melted it. <laughs> I'll smell that more. Um, very strong throw. I'll melt it again. I'll see how I feel. But, yeah, I, I thought that was going to be much better than it was. Uh, vintage Chic Sense McBoo. So gooey marshmallows, campfire marshmallow, palo santo, and vanilla frosted grahams. This I don't – I like. I'm not, like, a huge fan of it. Like it's, to me, it's very creamy marshmallow vanilla. Um, you do get the Palo Santo, but it's not, I don't know, because I've had creamy Palo Santo kind of marshmallow scents before and I've loved them. And this one just doesn't grab, whether it's the Palo Santo just isn't my favorite type or what it is, I'm not sure. I know a lot of people love this one, but for me, there was just something about it. It's not bad, but it just doesn't grab me. Um, it throws strongly, but yes, yeah, so it doesn't feel like one I need to repurchase. 
uh, L3 Waxy Wonders Palo Santo Hot Rush Dionysian Sugar Cookie Royale. This I loved. And interestingly, the first time I melted this, I wasn't a big fan. The first time I melted this, all I smelt was the Hot Orange Danish. I don't mind Hot Orange Danish, but obviously if I buy a, in a blend, I want to smell the blend. This time around... I got a lot more Palo Santo and I got a lot more sugar cookie and it was so good. Like you definitely, it's definitely very strong on the orange still. Like that orange bakery, but just with the Palo Santo, it was just absolutely phenomenal. And then there's a nice cookie scent in there too. Mm, oh, I don't know. It's so good. Um, super strong throw. Very, very strong throw, this one. Um, and definitely now I would repurchase it. The first time I melted it, wasn't that keen. I'm not sure whether my nose has just shifted a bit or if a bit of cure time just has let the Palo Santo pop a bit more. Could be either. either. Don't know, but absolutely love it. Uh, Glitterati Peanut Crunch Cake and Toasted Mallow. So I'm, I, I saw this in the box I got. I didn't think I was going to like it because of the Peanut Crunch Cake. I don't like peanut scents usually. But then smelling it cold, it actually smelled quite nice. Like It does smell like peanuts, but... The mellow and the cake kind of were quite pleasant. Um, but honestly, this is very rare for Glitterati. This one was pretty weak throw. Um, I really, I melted it in my office. I was in the office. Um, I used my standard size sliver that I would normally do. I normally get about five melts out of a chunk of Glitterati. Um, and I, I really, I got a very light cake and marshmallow scent. So, um... I'll try it again in a little bit. Maybe I'll let it... This one's poured in December. I mean, it's March, so it should be fine. But I'll let it sit for a bit and I'll try it again. Um, so, no, that's not a blend I would get again. Um, I was surprised on cold. It smelt better than I expected. But, yeah. The throw and, yeah. Um, Ebony Violet Snow Witch. So, Pine Balsam Sweet Fruit Berries and Chuli. This smells amazing. It's doing my head in, though, because I swear it smells familiar. I swear I've melted this before. Don't know when, don't know where. Don't know if it's a fragrance oil or if it's just like coincidence that I I don't know. It's a very strong, sharp balsam and pine. And then there's kind of like a spice tone. And the fruits like like to me this is not a sweet blend, even though there is sweet fruits in there. Yeah, it's very, very icy, piney, balsamy, earthy, um, but with just a little bit of a fruit pop. It is very, I think it's quite complex in a way. Um, very strong throw. Um, and yes, I do want to get that one again. I really, I do really enjoy it. It's not one I would melt all the time, but I really like it. Two more. Uh, L3 Waxy Wonders, Blood is the New Black and Wonka Vision. So Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. Sugar cookie dough, pretzel, strawberry bread, cherry chip cake. Look, this is a not bad bakery scent. I think I've talked about it a bit because I've been melting my way down this loaf again. Another one that because I like it but don't love it, I just, I don't need to hoard it. So I'm sort of melting it away. Uh, the pretzels are a bit strong for my taste. Pretzel always comes over too strong. I just don't like pretzel. Like it's got some nice bakery notes in there. But yeah, I just, I do get quite a strong... I don't really get many like strawberry or blackberry to be honest. It's just kind of a, a cakey cookie scent with pretzels. So, um, strong throw, not a repurchase. And the last scent for this week Savannah Blue Autumn Skies with Cherry Vibes, Campfire Marshmallow, and Cherry Palo Santo, which is Palo Santo Cherry Mist and White Cake. This was a surprise for me. I absolutely love this. Because um, the cherry smell. It almost smells like it's going to be medicinal on cold, but then it kind of swings sweet. Um, but on warm, it was, yeah, it was just this beautiful, I got a lot of campfire marshmallow um, and really lovely, sweet, smooth Palo Santo. And then just a really lovely, sweet cherry cake. It was really good. The only thing I will say about it is I feel like it didn't throw for very long. So I went in not long after it started melting. I was like, whoa, this is amazing. Like, and it was strong. Um, and then I came back like an hour later and I was like, where did it go? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, I'll try it again and see if that happens again. But yeah, it was a fantastic scent. I would get it again. Really good Palo Santo combo. 
Um, so that's it. That is everything that I melted this week. Uh, so I will leave it there. Um, I hope you're all doing really well and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.